I'm Tommy Moore from the Bartitsa Lab and I wanted to introduce you to a little friend that I've been playing with at the moment. I call him the Little Green Bastard, the LGB. So the Little Green Bastard, like so, he's a canvas outer, he's sewn up and he's filled with lead shot of varying sizes. From anything from to a marble in shape to smaller BB sized pellets. In betwixt that is sand. It's about one fifth sand to four fifths lead shot. It's a heavy bit of kit, probably around about, I say heavy, relatively heavy bit of kit, um, just under two kilos, makes a thud. But it's small, it's portable, I've been finding it very useful as something to mix in when it comes to solo training in betwixt bob, pads, all that kind of stuff. Some of the benefits I like about it. So because it's got that kind of hardened element inside, but still a little bit of a flex, I find this is much more conducive to discipline than say a normal focus mitt for solo pad training. Because I think you can get away with a lot with a focus mitt. I think it doesn't really instruct you in have you used your hand correctly? Have you positioned your fist correctly? Have you been aligned? You know, it can be very, very forgiving. And the sounds it make can make things feel a lot more ballistic and powerful than they are. When you whack a focus mitt, even if it's a shit punch, sometimes it can feel like you're Mike Tyson. So I quite like the little green bastard as something to take with me as a little travel item and use him. Uh, some of the ways in which I use the little green bastard and hopefully might be something you have a bit of a play with and make your own, make them bigger, make them smaller. You know, this is a slam bag. So this is another type I use for combatives training. This is much heavier and much bigger. But the little green bastard is almost like a travel size version. It's relatively dense. So how can you use them? So if you practice solo pad drills, this is a good mechanism to do those same drills with something that builds your conditioning. You know, it teaches you, it's not really about building resistance. You, know, you can make the skin on your hands a little bit tougher. You can ruggedize yourself a little bit more. And you see that in a lot of early bare knuckle boxing, people conditioning. But even if you're striking empty handed, open handed, you know, it builds in, it gives you feedback. If you canted your wrist a bit wrong, fucking tells you, it tells you you've fucked it up. You, know, you get a full sense of security sometimes on a soft, squishy pad. So some of the ways I like to play with the little green bastard. The first and the most simple is to hold him and use him as a proxy for a focus mitt. So for example, if you were practicing a hook off the fence, so you might do an open fence, boom, you can practice, boom, boom. You can practice getting that feel into the shot, boom. And you can still hit it with really good ballistic force. And the great thing is if you like punching with your knuckles, is you get a sense of penetration, you get a sense of resistance, and you'll know whether your right knuckles have gone on target or you've fluffed it. So whether you practice, say from an open fence, bam, a bit more closed, bam, whatever you want to do, a bit more extended, bam, you can do with these, and they let you know whether your wrist has been canted somewhat, whether you're aiming with less useful knuckles than you might be inclined to do, and naturally, you can do the exact same thing with your open-handed shots. You can hold it close enough for your chin jabs. You can hold it a bit further away for your kind of palm heel, tiger claw style blows. Because of the nature of the product, I say product, something you can make, when you hit it, you can grip it, you can rip it, you can build the strength in your digits, which is really nice. So up close, far away, practicing palm hooks, you, know, you can still build really good force and pressure using the little green bastard. So it's lovely, whether you're punching it or whether you're palming it, or indeed, whether you're elbowing it. Obviously I dropped it because I'm a dickhead, but it's good. It's a good, useful little tool. I really do like it. And then you've got all of the dexterity drills that you can do with. For example, if you want to practice a ballistically fast palm strike, you throw it, you catch it. Nice and simple. So you get used to hitting and gripping. Hitting and gripping. Hitting and gripping, which is really nice. Same with, say, an uppercut orientation 
of a palm strike if the opponent's bent over. Hum! Hum! Or if you're practicing ballistic slaps. Hum! Hum! Or if you want to practice hitting and moving. So you can run forward, hit, hit, hit. Nice and simple. So for example, hum! 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 You can practice moving forward your shadow boxing with this as well as your fence work using it like a traditional mitt with more resistance more feedback it feels more like a face to be honest than a lot of pads do so you've got that type of stuff open handed or closed fisted you've got the ability to use it as a dexterity tool all of which within a very small package so I'd really advise these are a good little add-on to what you play with. You just need a bit of jute cloth, uh, some needles, a bit of thread and some filling. You can make one of these for about five quid. Uh, I've really enjoyed playing with it. It's been very, very useful. I take it with me everywhere where I can't take my slam bag. I can do the same techniques, the same conditioning with the slam bag, but I'm really enjoying the density and, and to be honest, the accuracy of something like this. You know, if you think of most focus mitts, even the small ones, they're relatively big for a target that might be the point of the jaw, along the jawbone, throat, eyes, whatever. And most decent targets are relatively small. So this kind of small bag allows you to build up the accuracy you will need. And it's just a really good, interesting tool to use in lieu of a focus mitt. So get yourself a little green bastard, give it a play. Hope you find it interesting.